greater than lesson 7.1. We can compare two numbers to find which is greater. We can use groups of 10, counters, or draw pictures to help us compare. Which is greater, 23 or 32? First, we compare the numbers in the tens place. The number with more tens is the greater number. 3 is bigger than 2, so 32 is greater. It has more tens. Which is greater, 15 or 17? If the tens are the same, we compare the numbers in the ones place. They both have a 1 in the tens place. The 7 is bigger than the 5, so 17 is greater than 15. To find the greater number, compare the tens first. Here we have 34 and 43. We look at how many tens they have. 34 has three tens, 43 has four tens, 4 is more than 3, so 43 is greater than 34. 4 tens are greater than 3 tens. This is the symbol for is greater than. It's the is greater than sign. And the sign is open facing the larger number. 43 is greater than 34. It's easier to write this symbol than to write all these words and letters. We can just go like that, is greater than. If the tens are the same, we compare the ones. Here we have 25 and 23. They both have two tens, but this one has five ones and this one has three ones. Five is more than three, so 25 is greater than 23. They both have two tens. Five ones are greater than three ones. 25 is greater than 23. We use the is greater than sign. And it's open to the larger number, the greater number. Now here we have a chart and it says circle the greater number. And we have two numbers to choose from in each problem. And then it wants to know, did tens or ones help us to decide? We have to circle either tens or ones. Then it wants us to write the numbers. The number that is greater goes here. It'll say that number is greater than that number. Then we put the larger number here with the greater than sign facing it. So let's try this. Which is the greater number, 35 or 53? We can compare the tens. This has only three tens, and this has five tens. So yes, the tens helped us, and five tens is more than three tens, so 53 is larger. We need to write it here. 53 is greater than 35. 53 is greater than 35. We can write it with the symbol. 53 is greater than 35. Let's try the next one. Which is the greater number, 79 or 97? We start by looking at the tens place. This has seven tens, this has nine tens. Nine tens is more than seven tens, so that's the greater number. And the tens helped us to decide, didn't they? 97 is greater than 79. 97 is greater than 79. We can write it with the symbol. 97 is greater than 79. Which one is greater, 68 or 66? We look at the tens place, and they both have a six. So because they both have a six in the tens place, we look at the ones place. 
This has eight ones. This has six ones. Eight is larger than six, so this is the larger number. It has more ones. And the ones helped us to decide because they had the same number of tens, didn't they? And we can write it. 66 is greater, 68 is greater than 66. 68 is greater than 66. It's bigger, isn't it? We can write it with the symbol. 68 is greater than 66. We can write or draw to solve. Dave and Bob ate cupcakes. Dave ate one ten and two ones. Bob ate one one and two tens. Who ate the greater number of cupcakes? Well, look at the tens and ones. It says Dave ate one ten and Bob ate two tens. Comparing the tens, Bob has more tens, doesn't he? We can use the rods to help us, the rods of 10, we can say that Dave ate 110, so this is Dave, and he had 110 and two ones, so we need two ones, so that's Dave, 110 and two ones. Bob ate one one and two tens. So we can do Bob. He has just one one, but he has two tens. Let's move these up here. So that's going to be Bob. One one and two tens. We can look at these and compare. He has more tens, so Bob ate the greater number of cupcakes. Bob ate 21 cupcakes? That's a lot of cupcakes, isn't it? Even 12 is a lot of cupcakes. But 21 cupcakes is an awful lot of cupcakes to eat. Lisa has 37 crayons. Emma has 25 crayons. Tim has a number of crayons greater than either Lisa or Emma. How many crayons might Tim have? Well, we know Lisa has 37 and Emma has 25, but it says that Tim has a greater number than either of them. That means he has a greater number than both of them. So what would be a greater number? Well, if we compare Lisa and Emma, she has two tens, Lisa has three tens, so Lisa has more than Emma, but Tim has more than all of them. So he has to have more than 37. So any number that is greater than 37 would be an answer. She's got three tens and seven ones. If Tim had three tens and eight ones, that would be greater than Lisa. Or he could have three tens and nine ones, or four tens. That's still greater than Lisa, isn't it? He could have 38 crayons or more, couldn't he? Any number that's greater than 37 would be the right answer and would make this true. We're going to compare, is the math sentence true? This one says 57 is greater than 75. Is that true? Let's look at the tens place. This has five tens. This has seven tens. Is five tens more than seven tens? No. Seven is larger, isn't it? So this one's not true. So we're going to fill in the no. How about this one? 46 is greater than 36. We look at the tens place. 4 is greater than 3. So yes, this is true. We fill in the yes. 
the greater than symbol is greater than sign faces the greater number, the larger number. Our next lesson is going to be less than. That's the less than symbol. It's going to be lesson 7.2. See if you can compare numbers and use a greater than sign. And just remember, the open part of the sign faces the larger number, okay? It's open to the bigger number. I'll see you next time. Bye.